Hello everybody, in this video, I want to talk about the topic of depositing money into your account on a regular basis. I will go over some mathematical calculations, as well as show some sources and what they say you should be contributing to your account on a regular basis. Let's get started. So this is my account on Robinhood. I have $92,000. And I deposit money into my account all the time. I don't rely on just gains alone. You make more money in terms of gains if you have more money to work with. Especially for what I do, I do covered calls. And that requires a lot of money because covered calls, they require 100 shares of that stock. And sometimes buying 100 shares of something costs a lot of money. For example, Amazon is at $185. Buying 100 shares of Amazon, that's going to cost like $18,000, which is a lot of money. So it's good to regularly deposit money into your account, especially when you're doing strategies that require a lot of money. And just in general, it's nice to deposit more money so that when you make a percentage gain, for example, you make a 10% gain, the nominal amount that you gain increases when you have a higher amount in your account. For example, 10% of $1,000 and 10% of $100,000 is completely different, right? Obviously, if you have a lot of money in your account, considering the same percentage gain, it helps to have a lot more money in your account. Let's do some math. So here's a compound interest calculator from investor.gov. Let's say for example, you have an initial investment of $1,000. And then we'll say that you contribute nothing. You contribute $0 per month. Length of time in years, let's say 10 years. Estimated interest rate, the average return of the market is around like 9% and somewhere like that. Um, let's just make it a round number like 10. So let, let's, let's, let's assume that's a 10% return per year. And then compound frequency annually, and then I'll click on calculate. Let's see what we get. The results are in. In 10 years, you will have $2,593.74. That's with no contributions. So let's look at a different example. This time we'll go with the same $1,000 initial investment. However, this time for monthly contribution, let's put, for example, $15 per month. Length of time in years, we'll keep it the same at 10 years. Estimated interest rate, we'll keep that the same at 10. And let's click on calculate and see what happens. The results are in. In 10 years, you will have $5,462.48. Compared with $2,593, if you were to just take the same situation, but add a $15 per month contribution, you end up with more than double what you would have at the end of those 10 years. So it makes a big difference if you regularly contribute money into your account. Now let's look at some sources and what they say you should contribute to your account on an annual basis. This is from Fidelity. This is the Fidelity website. And it says, how much should I contribute to my 401k? And it says right here, our annual guideline is to save 15%. For retirement so according to fidelity they say the guideline is to save 15 percent of your income let's look at another one here is wall street journal and it says mid-career save one percent more each year okay so in the middle of your career they recommend saving uh you know Let's say, for example, if you're saving 5% of your salary, try increasing that to 6% next year 
and 7% the year after. If you are saving 10%, bump it up to 11%. So whatever you're contributing, they recommend bumping it up by 1% of your salary every year. So according to Wall Street Journal, they want you to take whatever you're contributing and keep on bumping it up by 1% each year. That's pretty aggressive. <laughs> but yeah, it's around the same, right? Now let's look at a different source. This is Investopedia. Under the key takeaways, it says, the rule of thumb for retirement savings is 10% of gross salary for a start. For a start, 10%. Now, if we scroll down more, how much to save in a 401k if you're closer to retirement? Okay. So if you're closer to retirement, uh, they say to do more to catch up, right? If you start saving later in life, especially when you're in fifties, you may need to increase your contributions amount to make up for lost time. So if you're older near retirement age, they recommend saving even more to catch up. The more you contribute, the better, right? There's many variables. However, they said, however, regardless of your age and expectations, most financial advisors agree that 10% to 20% of your salary is a good amount to contribute toward your retirement fund. All right, let's look at another one. This is from Nerd Wallet. According to Nerd Wallet, it says, it says a general rule of thumb is to consider saving 10% to 15% of your income. Again, all these websites say the same exact thing, or at least different versions of the same exact thing. 10% to 15%, you know, is a general rule of thumb. That's how much they want you to save. 10% to 15% of your income. Um, Investopedia says general rule of thumb, say 10% to 20% of your salary. So somewhere within that range, 10 to 20% of your salary, uh, according to Fidelity, our annual guideline is 15%. A lot of different sources say that you should be contributing 10 to 15% of your annual salary towards your account for retirement. Some even say to increase that percentage by 1% every year, or to increase it to 20% of your annual salary. For me personally, I like to contribute as much as I possibly can towards my account. And that's because, like I explained before, mathematically, it makes a huge difference if you compare an account where you don't contribute anything versus an account where you do regularly deposit money into your account. After 10 years or over the long term, the difference is huge. You could end up with double, maybe even triple the amount compared to if you did not contribute anything at all. So contributions and depositing money into your account on a regular basis, it makes a huge difference. It matters a lot. And as I've shown in this video, many sources say that you should be contributing around 10 to 15% regularly in your portfolio each year. Depositing money into your account on a regular basis is seen as a completely normal thing in the investing world. And me personally, I try to deposit as much money as I possibly can on a regular basis into my own account. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.